Hi guys, we turn on the camera because now I want to show you how to take a BTS in here. So BTS is as a Korean, yes. <laughs> but here in Thailand, it is a station. We can see the subway, but subway goes down, right? It's underground, but BTS is skyline actually in Thailand. It goes from southwest to the northeast part. And of course it passed through the, the middle of the Bangkok city, which is the main stupid road. So today I will show you how to take a BTS. Uh, there are several ways to take a BTS. I mean, the, like to make a cart. First, here, I will show you. We are now in the BTS Chitlong station. Yes, here, like the machine. You can use this machine. And the best way is just come to the ticket office and you just say what you want. Here in Thailand, how they count? They count like the, by the how far you go. For example, the only one station, five baht, two station, seven baht. So if you go further, it will be like more expensive. So here's my idea. So if you think that you go to more than 10 station and then you go three people more, I think I recommend you to take a taxi. Yeah, this is how it works here. But in Korea, actually not. Like, taxi is like much expensive. But also one more thing, <laughs> Bangkok traffic is really serious, honestly. So you need to think about traffic jam as well. So I recommend you to take a BTS if you need to come somewhere in the middle of the like Bangkok city. Yeah, here's a BTS station. Here's your end ticket office. And also here, and you see though, this area only you can put the coin, or insert the coin. And then there is the English, so you can put the English version, and then you make it zoom in, and then you can pick where you want to go. But we don't have a coin, so we will find some place that we can put the bill. Thank you. Okay, this is coin, and then this is coin as well. Yes, this one. Okay, it's now my turn. Okay, so now I'll change it to English. And here we are at the Chillum station. We go really far. I beat this bearing E14. You see, it's a 62 part. And you insert the money. Beat this bearing station is almost the last station in the. Bangkok. So how they exchange the money and this is her this is point. Uh, this is a temporary BTS card which you can use only one time. But this one is a rabbit card. Uh, you can top up the money here like the money card in Korea and then you can use. To make this card you can go there, the office, and then you tell them you want to make the rabbit card. So as a foreigner, you need to bring the passport and then give it to them. I think this one is 100 baht for the car, making a car, and then you can top up the money. So now like uh, we want to check it, how much it costs. So how maybe like the, it has a difference if we use uh, this car and the temporary car. So Sasha will use uh, this car and then I will use the temporary car. Okay, let's go. For me. Okay, so and then how you can see where you should go? Here we go. You need to check the this one. You see the color? So it means the train goes to the up, like Chinnom, Ponchi, Nana, Aso, Pong Pong. This way. Okay, not up, but this way. And then opposite way is a green line here, so it goes down. But for us, we go to the E14. Therein. So you see it's easy because they put the E14, E15, E16 like this. So we go to the E14 and then the train goes up. So we should go this way. Okay. But if you want to go opposite way, you can go to the, the left side as well. Okay. Left side. Let's go this way. It has an escalator, but the other side I think has uh, the stairs. Mm -hmm. 
and also one more tip BTS is Skyline so if you want to travel in Bangkok I recommend you to take a BTS because just you take a BTS and then you sit outside you will see the city of the Bangkok oh, this is really true especially today weather condition is so good so you will see the uh, beautiful city train is coming They put the decoration, you know, all over the train, but still you can see outside. Here, this is yes, okay, this side. Ponte station, they say next. Now Timon. So you can get the whole information on the board. And here. You cannot see clearly, but still. So it depends on the, which train they take. Well, I think because it goes to uh, like uh, the skyline. So they can do the advertisement now. That's why they put the, you know, any advertisement outside, which is good for them. And also one good thing is BTS has a... What? Airplane? Yes, which is important for you, right? Uh, airplane makes me sick. Okay, so you pick with the aircon, without the aircon, if you need to pick. Still with the aircon. Yeah. <laughs> Here the trains they are smaller, so there are about like four or five cabins, right? Oh no, oh, really? like oh. trains. So. Comparing to like Korea, so that's why there are like a lot of people. There are seats, but not so much seats, and there are also like standing places where you can just stand. And now I cannot show the like specific seat, but there is some seat for the like. To say priority. Priority seats for pregnant, I think, yeah. for elderly people. In Thailand, they also have a, the train go on the line, like subway or MRT. MRT goes down, so normally, like BTS go to the uh, this. <laughs> How to say it? here? Left to the right. Especially when you see the Skumbi line. And then MRT goes the up to down and down to up this line, opposite way. We already showed the BTS Asok station, right? So Asok station is famous and then popular. Why? Because Asok has a MRT station and then BTS station. Again, BTS Asok station has a MRT. That station name is Skumbit. So when you say Skumbit station, it means ah, in Asok, a subway station. Now yes. And also the they speak English, I mean the announcement, so you can understand. In Korea, English, Korean, Chinese, Japanese, mm. right? And also you cannot drink or eat in the cabin. For sure you cannot smoke. Yeah. You can see the advertisement as well. And also, the, I don't know, for the BTS, for the MRT, they said uh, you're not allowed to bring the durian inside. I know the durian, and durian smells. Uh, yeah, I never tried durian in my life. So we should take it only for me one time. Yeah. We'll try uh, durian. need to be prepared and stay at home, I think. Next station. The last station. The last station. Okay. And then the left side, one more station, Samno, is in the Samuk Baragan, which is like in Korea, Gyeonggi province. If you know Korea, well, like Seoul and the Gyeonggi province. So I want to tell you one thing. So from Bering Station to anywhere you go to the Samuk Baragan, like the down part, actually the BTS fee is free, which is so interesting. So if you go to office, and then you go to the Samno in Bering Station and they will just give the card. This is one more small tip. If you want to go to the down part of the event, so take the big piece. Yeah, Bering Station.
This is also an international school. I heard it is also popular in Bangkok. I think here is also good. I will interest about the bearing station as well. And then if we have a time, we can maybe try to introduce many like the area near the like BTS station. The rabbit car you put here and see the price. Okay, 142. Yeah, so we finally alright. As we actually see, there's nothing different. But still, like the, you know, rabbit card is a convenience, especially if you stay here longer, because you don't need to go to the office or use the machine all the time. Just top up the money, a little bit big money, and then you can stay here. I mean, you can use it for the long time. Yeah, and also I think that there are different kind of rabbit cards. So this one is for adults. And also I saw for seniors as well. So I think they need to check your passport ah, Okay, okay. So about this thing, you can also check it out here. Okay, so we will see you guys in next video. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye-bye.